What is going on guys, Roman Lover here, bringing another Random Topic Tuesdays. Now this is week 18. Now, the topic of this series is actually going to be very long. It's definitely something I'm not going to be able to do, so either I'm probably going to go finish this off as a Random Topic Tuesdays, um, it's like a series, more like a, probably like a three-piece series, because um, this is going to be a very long subject. Um, and before I get into the subject, um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the gameplay you're going to be seeing. It's a 23, no, 26 and, no, I'm sorry, 23 and 6. I'm sorry, I keep on getting those mixed up. On the map oil rig, using the Andromalius and the S58 musket. Now, the Andromalius is a really, really good gun. I'll talk about that later in a different video. But anyways, guys, the topic I'm going to be talking about is about being a gentleman. Now, um, only guys really watch this video, so, um, watch my videos, so it's kind of pointless to talk about this since this is going to be more directed towards us males. So, um, being a gentleman is something we all should strive to do. All males should strive to become a gentleman. Um, as guys, we should all try to be it because ladies love gentlemen. People like being around gentlemen, and the world is always in need for more gentlemen. Ladies, if you want a special, la if you want a special girl in your life, a lady, then they deserve a gentleman, and they're looking for a gentleman. So, in a sense, it's also benefiting you as well in your love life. Um, now, I have a list of 19 rules. There's so many more, but these are like real ones I really like, and I've seen this in a picture and it's actually saved as one of my wallpapers on one of my little iPods and it's the 19 rules of being a gentleman so I'm gonna be talking to you about them right now um, the first rule is say please and thank you now this is a this is pretty obvious I mean you should always say please and thank you all the time it's a cur it's a courtesy it's respectful and I mean it just shows that you really uh, are paying attention to what you're receiving or asking for um, like for anything, anything, even if this is the smallest thing, can I please borrow a pencil? Thank you very much. It's really simple, very easy thing to do, and it also gives you a lot of brownie points. The second rule, work hard. Now, of course, I'm, you should always be working hard in general. Now, unfortunately for me, I'm definitely lazy, so that doesn't really tend to work out, but laziness is an excuse, so you got to work hard. Work hard in school. Work hard in your job. Work hard for anything you've got to do. Work hard for your love life, especially. Work hard for everything. Um, even if it's the most mundane things, like taking out the trash, work hard doing that. Make it all epic when you're doing that as well. Probably not good advice. Don't make it, don't make it so like, like you look weird. <laughs> but um, work hard when you're doing that. Third rule, mind your manners. Now, very obvious as well. You have to watch your manners in general, um, but you have to have good manners, of course. And what you have to watch, like if you have negative manners, you gotta be make sure you're doing them. Uh, actually, you gotta watch them in general. Don't do them in front of other people, like burping. Don't do that. Be very courteous. Be really, just don't act like you're gonna act around school or a certain place where it's informal and it's accepted. Always act formally, always act chival um, chival eh, chivalrous, or however you pronounce it, other people pronounce it different ways, um, and always act just, I don't really know how to say besides gentlemanly, always act nice, always act groomed, always do all that stuff. Now the fourth rule also, really, really big, oh, I completely agree with this 100%, offer a lady your seat. You, this is a must, always, even if they try to reject it, or um, they're like, oh, no, 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 always do it, unless there's, unless there's, of course, always room, well, and I don't know why she's standing up in the first place, but if she is standing and you're sitting, always, always, always offer her your seat. It definitely show, like, it definitely gets a lot of smiles. Um, I've done that before. And it feels good also doing it. You're doing a little bit of a um, random acts of kindness. You're, it's a really nice to do, and it's very gentleman-like. Now, the fifth rule, don't curse. Now, unfortunately, this is kind of like a more of a... Uh, uh, shoot, uh, con condescending, conceited, coming from me because I've said that. I've said a lot of curse words in my other videos. But, I mean, I do this on YouTube. This is a very informal thing. But when you're act trying to act like a gentleman, do it. And you don't have to curse. You can say many other smooth and suave sounding words that are probably just, if not better, than a curse word. And you can just make people just go crazy just by what you were saying. And, like, especially if they're a little bit of illiterate, it makes it even funnier because they're just looking at you and you know exactly what you're talking about. And it's better than cursing up a storm because really it just makes you look kind of more immature in my opinion 
Now, um, the last one I'm going to go over is the six roll extend a firm handshake. Now, if you do this, always do this and uh, like with business and uh, definitely in the business, definitely. Not in, that is just a common courtesy as well. Never have like a dead all way like you're shaking a dead man's hand. That's not that's not appealing. That's not cool. Um, always firm. Um, always look them in the eye. Uh, unless they feel offended by that by some reason, but always extend it for a manager, but don't do a death grip and make them feel all comfortable. Anyways, guys, this is the it for part one of the series. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.